So far, there have been 12 climate change meetings around the world. How many does there need to be before governments and politicians really start doing something about it? 13? 20? 100? How many times do we have to try and get the message across to them over there? Hello? Well, this is their wake-up call. I want all those in that building to act now. Not in 10 years' time, not in a million times, three million years' time, but now. Because the clock is ticking and we all have to get behind this. And you know the one thing on our side? There's more of us than them. A lot more. So we need to convince governments, or should I say, force them to get tougher in stopping big businesses polluting our skies. If we don't want our homes and lives to be destroyed and millions of other peoples around the world. So I want to say to every government, whoever they are, wherever they are, this is about helping to save the planet. This is your job, the job you were voted to do. Be a government we can be proud of, not one that ignored the threat to our planet and buried its head in the sand. I think a huge number of people do recognise the fact that we face an ecological crisis and one that will actually make the banking crisis look uh, small by comparison. Um, the thing we need to do is to galvanise people to make them believe that we can all make a difference. I worry that people expect the politicians to take the first move and sadly they're not. They're not going to do that until we build enough pressure from below to make them take notice. We can really only change by creating a movement like they did against slavery, like they did with the suffragettes and women's right to vote, like they did with civil rights. Create a noise and a movement so powerful that the politicians can no longer ignore the voice of the people.